it'll it, kill them. Tracy, explain that again for me. So you have to mark the top of the egg because the alligator embryo attaches to the roof of the egg. Right. When it's laid, it, it uh, it's dirty. just you know it's just it's inside dirty. and then it floats to the top and uh, it attaches to the roof. So we leave it in that same position until they hatch. So that uh, it's coming. So that they'll live. Don't worry about honey. There's there's some of them that that sometimes they're standing straight up because they're in a little hole it's coming. and uh, they'll uh, those uh, don't always survive because you don't know which yeah which is the top. You now to you're pulling these out because they have a significantly higher chance of surviving when you go incubate them than they do here in the wild, right? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hatch uh, 90 95 percent. The 98% of them are going to hatch that I'm going to keep. And in the wild, only about 10% Got it. will live. Where do you put the alligators when they're born? Uh, we sell them to an alligator farm. Oh. We don't keep them. And after they they raise them to four feet, mm -hmm. they uh, call me. And Wildlife and Fisheries comes and determines what sex they are, if they're male or female, mm -hmm. and uh, puts a band. Yeah. <laughs> puts a band on their feet and it notches the tail to tell what year it is and then we return them loose in the wild where we picked up the egg. Now I heard somebody mention that you can sort of determine based upon what the temperature of the incubation is whether it's going to be a, a female or a male, correct? Uh, the temperature at, I forget what day after they laid, um, around the 21st day I believe. Uh, the temperature on that day will determine if it'll be a male or female. Got it. And they'll have both organs until they're four feet. That's why we wait till they're four feet long to uh, to uh, uh, turn them loose in the marsh. That Got way it. we can tell if they're male or female. And, uh, and then we, we turn them loose and they, they survive on their own. Right there. Do you take all the eggs? It's coming up right there. We take all the fertile eggs. right there. Okay. We have some that are not fertile. That one on the side is not fertile. I'll show you all that. The ones have a band. Oh, yeah, I see it. You can see the white band, and this one apparently didn't make it. It looks like a stripe. So, exactly. That's the embryo. It'll attach. It'll float up. So it'll float up and attach here. Then, as a few days, it'll start going around and make a band, and then it'll spread out over the whole way. Nice. This one doesn't have the band. So that one's not, this one, that second one has no band, so it's not fertile. Right. right. So what do you do with those? Nothing. We're going to leave them and And uh, it, uh, it, uh, it's soft, and the alligator is alive inside, and they can feel the kids hold the egg, and they can feel it moving. Wow. Hey, I'm talking over here. Don't mess up my, interrupt my conversation. That's rude. <laughs>